And when you take a look at these numbers here, what's the first thing, William, that jumps out at you? Well, I think the numbers were very good. So the numbers exceeded our expectations coming into the quarter. And really, we just like to put this in the context of what's been going on with Micron over the past few quarters. So this is a long up cycle in the memory market benefiting Micron and its other peers that sell these DRAM and NAND chips. And we expect this up cycle to continue through the next four quarters through calendar 2025. So it exceeded our expectations and we think the momentum can keep on going. I guess my question to you then is, where were expectations set at? Because we had a mixed reaction to both uh, NVIDIA and Broadcom's earnings. And that reflects how the narrative uh, on AI has kind of shifted in the wake of those two results. So was the bar low heading into these Micron results? Well, if you had asked me a couple months ago, the bar was pretty high. But then what we've seen over the past couple months is a little bit of skittishness, really about memory specifically, um, some reports of prices taking some downward pressure and et cetera. So we think expectations over the past month, month and a half have actually come down. And then what this shows is that the fundamentals are actually still very strong. And again, we expect this to continue for the next four quarters. Well, what I am curious about, too, is this idea that when we talk about Micron and the stock, it's always had a sort of cyclical nature to it. The idea that they get all these orders and then that kind of ebbs and then everyone sort of starts to poo-poo the stock and then we just recycle that refresh here. Does this sort of new AI world and the new dem potential demand uh, for data centers, is that going to smooth things out or is that just going to create even a more hyper cyclical nature to this uh, business and the stock? Ultimately, we don't think it changes much in regards to the long-term cyclicality. We expect the cyclicality to endure. You know, these memory chips, even as we think about high bandwidth memory, are commodities. There are different producers producing to the same standards. And so what we think is happening right now with the AI demand is that it's creating a particularly strong and a particularly enduring upcycle that can benefit Micron over the next couple of years. But ultimately, we still expect cyclicality in the long term. Mm -hmm. And that also bakes into our no moat rating on the stock.